Okay, so now we've found the jewel thief, let's turn our attention back to finding the murderer. Good idea, because I don't know about anyone else, but I feel like this evening has lasted about 12 weeks or something. Maybe that's the gym. Anyway, since the book is the only lead we have, I think we should have a closer look. Well, I thought the dead body was a pretty good lead, but you're the inspector, allegedly. Perhaps there are fingerprints on the book, so we can tell who took the gun from it. I don't have any of that equipment with me. Couldn't we use talcum powder and sellotape like in the movies? That only works in the movies. Yes, this is real life. So are there any extra clues in the book? What's this? It's an orange feather. I'm not sure it's that surprising. After all, I told you the book was here. Technically, it is mine. So did you know it was there? Well, no. What about you? I didn't even know the book existed. What are you suggesting? Well, if it's neither of you, then the clue must point to someone else. Oh, God, don't say there's more of them. So our only clue is an orange feather in place of the gun. Well, I still think the biggest clue is the dead body. But what do I know? Like I said earlier, my cousin here is my next of kin. There isn't anyone else. That's right. And it's not me. Perhaps we're being framed. Unless one of you is lying. Well, we've heard some pretty far-fetched ideas this evening. Some of it is too far-fetched to be true, surely? It would take a pretty weird imagination to come up with this sort of stuff, though, wouldn't it? Nah, just a lot of gin. Okay, I have a confession. Another one? Yes, I have another confession to make. That orange feather is mine. Why didn't you say so when I asked? I didn't want to look suspicious. Oh, good job there. I did know about the book, because it was where I hid the jewels that I had stolen. I'd never seen a gun in there, and now the jewels are missing too. The stolen jewels have been stolen? Wasn't this whole thing complicated enough? So, even though we found the jewel thief, we're still looking for a jewel thief. And a master of disguise. Has everyone forgotten about the murderer? So it looks like the book won't give us any clues to the murderer. If only someone had pointed that out a couple of episodes ago. What? What? No, the book has made it more complicated. The stolen jewels have been stolen and the gun is still missing. <gasps> what was that? I think the noise came from the ballroom. Quick, to the ballroom. Um... Uh... Okay, fine, I'll go first. The noise definitely came from here in the ballroom. I can't see anything different from when we left. Maybe a pet knocked over a glass or something. There aren't any pets. Can I just be clear that this is still a murder mystery? We haven't suddenly turned into a different genre, have we? What? Never mind. Wait, over there. The window has been smashed. There is a storm outside. Maybe it was a tree branch or debris caught up in the wind. Based on all the murder and intrigue so far, I think that's unlikely, don't you? So what has caused the broken window? Maybe one of us should take a closer look. Well, you're the inspector. Yes, but it's your house. Technically, it's my house, remember? Fine, you go look then. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll look. What is it? It looks like someone threw a rock through the window. Are you sure it wasn't the storm? Do storms normally write notes and tie them around a rock before they blow it through a window? Oh, she burnt you bad. Mm -hmm.